Three players have a good chance to be an all-star soon, age 24. So there are a lot of talented players in the NBA. And of course, it's always hard to predict who is going to be an all-star with all that talent. So I decided to make a series starting from age 24. And we're going to go down each video. So 24 is this video. 23, 22, you get the gist. And we're going to talk about three players in each age group who I think has a good chance to be an all-star. And maybe sometimes I'll throw in a surprise candidate as a fourth option. Who knows? We'll see. But let's get into the video. So number one is Andrew. Anthony Simons. Of course, we know Portland is going into rebuild mode, so that is the perfect opportunity for Anthony Simons to show up and show out. And he's already done that, which is why he just got that really nice contract extension. But still, like, he has way more room to grow, especially with Dame, you know, probably going to be gone soon. Yes, they drafted Scoot Henderson. Yes, I am super high on Scoot Henderson. I think Scoot is going to be an all star in the future. But Anthony, right now, is definitely, you know, he's been in the league more time and he's definitely more developed. And we know what happens when players get more opportunity to develop their game and just figure out what works for them and stuff like that on the court. They get to learn faster and you could just see some rapid growth which could turn Anthony Simons into an all-star. I think it's clear he could score with the best of them. He can score in bunches. When he gets hot, he lights it up like crazy. So I think Anthony Simons has a chance to make an all-star team in the future. Now I need to make a disclaimer in this video before someone says, why is Jordan Poole not on here? Jordan Poole, I just made a video on him two days ago talking about if I think he has a great chance to be an all-star next year. So that's why he's not in this video because I already think he's most likely out of all three of these players to be an all-star next year in my opinion. And I think there's a good chance that he actually is an all-star next year. So that's why I'm not including him here because I already think he is going to probably be one. So on to the next player. Number two is Nick Claxton. Listen, if you did not see Nick Claxton's growth, especially since the time he came into the league, but from last year to this season, or I guess like this past season or whatever you want to classify it as, his growth was so much. Like, he was always talented and he was going to be a good player in my opinion. I remember when he was drafted, I think he was drafted the bubble year, right? He was drafted in 2019, 2020 season. I think he was. I don't remember. But if he was, I remember like during that summer, the Nets, like they didn't rank very highly in like block shots and stuff like that. I believe they were like bottom tier and block shots. And I just remember posting something about how Nick Claxton could really help this team in terms of block shots and rebounding and stuff like that. Maybe they were bottom tier and rebounding. I forget which one it was, but I was saying Nick Claxton could really help this team. And then Nick Claxton finally started getting some more minutes eventually. And then Nick Claxton showed out last year. I mean, Nick Claxton, he was not top three for Defensive Player of the Year, but he definitely was a top candidate at a certain point in the season. He was near the top of the league in blocks. He can rebound, of course. And I like his toughness. Now, of course, just being an amazing, amazing defender doesn't necessarily get you an all-star appearance. But I think his defense combined with his offensive game, which has also developed, I think can turn him into an all-star. Like Nick Claxton is definitely developing his offensive game. I'm not concerned. He's still 24. He's got time. So we could see Nick Claxton being an all-star in the future because he could definitely play two ways at that point. He's already got the defense on lock. Now he just has to continue to develop his offensive game and then he could be an all-star. And the last player is Emmanuel Quickly. Emmanuel Quickly's development also skyrocketed last year. He was runner up for six man of the year and for a good reason, he almost won that award. Like his growth is insane. He put on a show last year in a bunch of games. That game against Boston will always stand out in my mind. If you don't remember that game, I don't think Jalen Brunson was playing. I don't know if Julius Randle was playing either. I don't remember. One of the two weren't playing or both weren't playing, something like that. Or maybe they were playing. Maybe I'm making that up. I feel like one of them was out due to injury or something like that. I feel like they were. But regardless, quickly put up a career high and beat, obviously he had other teammates help him, but he beat the Celtics in double overtime like I think it went to double overtime again he didn't do it alone but he was the star of the show like every shot he was making all the big shots all the clutch moments I remember the moment where he was skipping down the court that's what I remember most and I think the announcer was Ryan Rucco like correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like he was the announcer because I remember this line that he said so vividly Quickly had like made the shot. I think this is when Quickly was skipping. This is why I'm saying I remember this so vividly. Because he goes, Emmanuel Quickly is in his bag. I think that all happened at the same time, which is why I remember it so, so much. But anyway, Quickly is a very talented player. Now, unlike the Blazers who are clearly in rebuild mode, 
The Knicks are trying to build up, you know, build off what they have. And Jalen Brunson is their starting point guard. So for quickly, it will be a little harder for him to become an all-star if he's playing, you know, back up to Jalen Brunson. But I still think he has the talent to do it. So that's my list. This is age 24 potential all-stars in the future, maybe next season for any of these players. Who knows? We'll see. And the next video in this series, we'll be doing age 23. So look out for who's in that video.